Monaco started this week 32 opener in second place with the aim to pile more misery upon Bordeaux at the Stade Louis II. Leonardo Jardim's men started the day five clear of nearest rivals Nice in the Principality's bid to qualify directly into next season's Champions League. Bordeaux, though, were hoping to manage what they couldn't before the international break, give new coach Ulrich Rame a first win that a late Bastille equaliser took away almost a fortnight ago. But one win in their last eight for Bordeaux. They could have been staring at another terrific strike from Faris Balouy. A 20-year-old in just his second start, firing just past the post. Well, Monaco on top and had lost just once in 18 since losing to Bordeaux away in November. But in first half injury time, they fell behind. Thomas Touré, ecstatic, finding himself all alone at the back post. Firing high into Daniel Subasic's goal. The referee saying that time added on was sufficient. Jardim maybe not agreeing with Benoit Bastien. Despite the recent problems, Bordeaux came into the match undefeated in their previous nine visits to the Stade Louis II. And the goal was an obvious boost. Adam Uanas trying his luck. Subasic forced to push it wide. Well, the 19-year-old only one goal at home. The other three had come away from home and that would soon become four. Monaco incredibly not learning their lesson. And once again, a player pulling off at the back post. The simplest of tap-ins. Monas with his fifth of the season. And Bordeaux two to the good. Jardim brought Fabio Contrao and Guido Carrillo in. To try and refresh their side. The presence of Carrillo almost brought dividends straight away. A great save. Denying him. Jerome Prea preferred in goal to 18-year-old Loni Paul Bernardoni. Since Rami replaced Willie Sanyol as Bordeaux coach three weeks ago. And he'd have his clean sheet tested. When Carrillo was fouled by Cedric Janberi. And Wanger Love stood up. Great save though. And Pierre was saved from the ball going in. As the referee penalised encroachment. Not one but two. All happening before the Brazilian found the net. Well, Monaco did get a consolation. Defender Frederic Gilbert finding himself in the wrong place. But it was too little, too late. A poor end, but a 2-1 victory. The win moving Bordeaux nine clear of the drop zone. While Monaco's position as best of the rest is now under threat.